University of British Columbia research team just completed a systematic analysis to help understand the motivations to commit suicide. The study, led by UBC PhD candidate Alexis May, was published by the Journal of Suicide and Life-Threatening Behavior. The analysis was based on 120 participants who recently attempted suicide. The results suggest that many motivations believed to play important roles in suicide are relatively uncommon. For example, the researchers found that suicide attempts were rarely the result of impulsivity, a cry for help, or an effort to solve a financial or practical problem. Of all motivations for suicide, the two found to be universal in all participants were hopelessness and overwhelming emotional pain. The study's participants were Canadian outpatients and undergraduate students. It is important to note that the motivations behind the participants' suicide attempts mirror the findings of a similar study in United States soldiers. In that analysis, researchers from the University of Utah questioned soldiers who had attempted suicide. Out of the 33 reasons the soldiers could use to describe their motivation to commit suicide, all of the soldiers included one in particular, a desire to end intense emotional distress. According to Dr. Craig Bryan, the co-author of that study, soldiers tried to kill themselves because they have this intense psychological suffering and pain. Beyond college students and soldiers, the New York Task Force on Life and the Law issued a report in May of 1994 stating that the common stimulus to suicide is intolerable psychological pain. That report cited Dr. Edwin Schneidman's book, Some Essentials for Suicide and Some Implications for Response, which was published in 1986. The accumulation of multiple decades of research in populations as varied as college students, soldiers, and people with terminal illnesses seem to generally agree that suicidal thinking and actions are a response to intense psychological pain. The unavoidable follow-on question is, what causes psychological pain so intense that suicide appears to be the only option? The New York Task Force provides that, contrary to popular opinion, Suicide is not usually a reaction to an acute problem or crisis in one's life or even to a, a terminal illness. Single events do not cause someone to commit suicide. The task force further specified that studies that examine the psychological background of individuals who kill themselves show that 95% have a diagnosable mental disorder at the time of death. Since serious mental disorders can generally be defined as disruptions in neural circuits, the logical conclusion is that there is something within the neural circuitry of a person's brain that causes them to experience extremely high levels of emotional pain beyond the scope of any environmental stressors occurring in their life. Neuroscientists are working to develop a better understanding of the process behind these deadly neural circuitry disruptions. After examining 18 different studies, Researchers from the University of California, San Francisco proposed a tentative neural network for psychological pain. The proposed network has significant overlap with the neural network utilized when we experience traditional physical pain. Take a moment to process that information. The neural circuits that transmit the feelings of physical pain, such as when a person's hand is on fire, are similar to the circuits that transmit feelings of emotional pain. It's not surprising that a disruption in that powerful of a system in the brain would lead to the number one cause of disability in the world, depression, and potentially suicide. It's hard to pinpoint what causes these neural disruptions, and those causes may be different for different people. Genetic susceptibility, emotional trauma, brain injuries, and substance abuse are all potential contributing factors, especially when combined together. There is no miracle cure for these devastating neural conditions, but recovery is possible through effective treatment and lifestyle changes. Life doesn't have to be a fight for survival. If you're experiencing suicidal thoughts and deep psychological pain, please call 1-800-273-8255. If you're worried about a loved one, call that number to learn what you can do to get them the help that they need. Thank you.